Welcome, Leo and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a monthly exclusive reading for September 2020. Please keep in mind, time is fluid, so whenever you view this, it may represent a past, a present, or a future event for you. If this does not resonate for you, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. There are always timestamps in the description box if you would ever like to skip ahead. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Leo, I'm going to read your energy at the top, and there's the bottom, but since it is general, it can be flipped or reversed. We have romantic feelings here, and chemistry with passion coming out in their energy. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this, right? We have calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations to help bring in this. You've manifested this love connection. You've manifested this uh, deeply passionate connection, okay? A lot of physical chemistry here. In this read, I'm going to go over a couple of specific questions. What I want to find out here is how does this person think about you? What are their current feelings about you? What are their intentions? What are the possible actions they may take in the next couple of months? I want to pull advice messages for those of you who happen to be in communication and advice messages for those of you currently in separation from your love interest. All right, clear messages and guidance, please, Spirit. Spirit, what is the energy here? Leo, Summon, Rising, and Venus. And love and life. We have the Eight of Rods with the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Three of Rods and the Eight of Pentacles. All right, we have the Four of Swords with the Sun card. We have the Five of Rods with the Ace of Pentacles. Under the deck here, we have the Two of Rods. Okay, Two of Wands, that is Fire Energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is about a choice that needs to be made. Somebody is beginning to come to this crossroads. Now it's no longer walking along the street trying to figure, you know, thinking about the future. It's the time is now. It's time to act now. You've come to that crossroads. There's no, there's no straight road ahead anymore. It's left or right. Pick a path. Maybe someone's been indecisive or holding back as long as they could about when it comes to making a decision. But like I say, the time has come. Now it's time to make a decision. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. So this could be your energy or theirs, okay? But romantic feelings here, I feel like you're embracing this connection. You feel something really special with this person. This person makes you feel really special. Uh, you like being around them. You like being in their energy. It's, it excites you. You like talking to them. You like being around them. Um, this person, they, I want to say they appreciate you in ways you haven't been appreciated before. That's part of like why you feel this deep connection to this person. It could be a soulmate for sure. What is this energy, please, Spirit? Clarify that romantic feelings. You've been hurt a lot in the past. Some of you, this could have been something that ended in the past. Or it's very on and off. Queen of Pentacles. You could have been married to this person for some of you. Sagittarian energy under the deck about healing a situation. Some of you, you now again, one or two things. For those of you who have multiple options in love, uh, you could be making a It's like maybe it's time for you to make a choice. You need to break someone's heart to be able to make an offer to someone else. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, but it's time to make a decision here. It's time to make a decision about stability, what you want. Uh, so you can't fight the feelings anymore. If it's just one person, now you have a, it's like you have a second chance at love. Yeah, there's reconciliation, three of cups under the deck, judgment card. So decision time, time to make a decision about something. We have the eight of rods. So this person could be reaching out to you or you could reach out to them. Uh, we have a woman here receiving a message or a news, okay? Receiving some kind of information from someone. She's excited about this. What is this here? What is this message? Could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy coming in here to declare love, to talk about their feelings. Something about a decision. They made a decision. Maybe they made a decision to move towards you, Leo. That's a strength card. That's your energy right there. Could be an Aries coming towards you. Okay. Or this person definitely could be older than you. This person could be very in control. They could be a boss or authoritative figure. Somebody with influence or power. They could have been married for some of them. But, like, you're the person that they want. Okay. Um, this is about moving towards you with love. Saying, I've made a decision. Okay. Uh, you're what I want. I'm trying to be strong here. This, they're, they're telling you how they feel. I'm hearing they may have missed an opportunity to do this in the past. 
We have the Nine of Pentacles here. That is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Nine of Pentacles, you're looking good. Like, you don't need this person, but you want this person. It's like, you'll be just fine on your own. You don't need anybody else, but you definitely want love. Some of you could be making the... You, some of you could be... Now, again, say it could be it's just general. Some of you actually could be telling this person, if they come back around to express their how they feel, that you've made a decision and you're moving toward, deciding to be single so that you can be free to move toward them. All right, clarify the Nine of Pentacles, please. Is that it? All right. Yeah. Some of you are having to, like, rebuild financially, but you know, you know that you're going to be okay. Like, if you're leaving behind a situation, you know that things are eventually going to kind of clear out. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. There's a, move, a decision to move forward. Uh, and you're, you're very optimistically taking this. It's like you know it's going to be difficult. It's not going to be all rainbows and sunshine and butterflies, but someone's made a decision to move on. Strong Aries, Leo energy here. It's, it's, it's difficult. It's weighing heavily on you, but it's time. Uh, you could be going through like a divorce or legal separation for you or them queen of swords this is about putting your foot down and deciding what you truly want you thought a lot about it the three of rods here you're thinking about your future and what it's going to look like and how you're going to move forward this is fire energy you think i mean look at how he's kind of like looking over this at the distance like what's going to have to take place what am i waiting for is it like a specific thing that's going to help me reach my journey my destination you know how do i bridge the distance you know overcome this this gap how do i move past this hurdle uh waiting for this person maybe to respond or something specific to happen so that you can actually move ahead whether it's like good news from like a divorce attorney that's going to take your case or um, travel documents or something. Some of you could be waiting for like your boss to kind of give you leave to go visit this person. Why is three of rods here? Flipping in, flipping back out. Usually my sign that somebody's kind of confused. Or they don't know how to, what to do here. There we go. So this is over four of pentacles. Could be money involved. Could work with this person. That can make things really difficult. Uh, three of Pentacles, four of Pentacles, and the King. Of, yeah, look at that King and Queen of Swords there. Strong soulmate energy, strong air energy. This is about working together with someone. Wanted to be victorious. This is Leo energy here. Um, some of you could be telling you that this person's left something behind. They're feeling emotional about you. Okay, they've got feelings. You know that you're the person that fulfills that fills their cups. You're who they want. They want to be victorious with you. Some of you, you want this person to leave something behind to come towards you. You don't want to let this person go, but something about maybe some of you could be saving money for a move or travel or for like a divorce starting over, something like that. Or, you know, this person's doing that for you because they want to be successful. Somebody here, could, if it's them, they could have been afraid to ask for help in the past, okay, financially. Maybe it's afraid to tell you that they weren't going to be okay financially. Maybe they had child support. They knew they were going to lose a lot, sell a lot of property, or they weren't as financially stable as you may have thought they were. Okay, I want to say that somebody, this again, this is take what resonates, see what doesn't, it's general. Uh, Eight of Pentacles here, this is again, strong earth energy. Whatever you're building, you feel like they're being watched. Show me why this Eight of Pentacles is here. You're in your head about something about the future, leaving something behind. You feel like you can't do this right now, you're feel, you, you're Honestly, I want to say this again. This don't don't get offended. Some of you are obsessed with this new beginning. I'm not saying like a toxic kind of way, like a crazy kind of way. No, what I feel here for you guys, it's kind of like you or them, Capricorn Aries energy here. It's like you can't stop thinking about your life with this person, and you feel just so disappointed because you can't have it right now. Now, honestly, they're thinking the same thing. I mean, with this kind of energy, I mean, it's it's intense. That you both want this. Um, they want to figure out, they're trying to figure out how to make it happen because you're right here in their heart space. Okay. They want this too. It's not just you sitting here thinking about this. It's like, it replays over and over in your mind. How are we going to make this work? How are we going to make this happen? You know, how can we move towards each other? You feel disappointed because it's not coming together as much as you want, as quickly as you want it to. You're ready to leap for, forward. For some of you, I kind of want to say you don't even care about money or things like that. It's just like, you want to be with this person, Virgo energy here. How do you move forward? How do you make the offer? You know, how do you bridge the distance uh with this energy here we have the nine of swords the two of wands and the eight of cups so again it's like you're one you're wanting to build but you feel frustrated like you're not making enough progress or things aren't coming together as soon as you want especially because you're waiting for money or something or something to kind of clear out of the way 
So it could be a legal situation. Uh, you're really in your head about it. You're thinking a lot about the future and about leaving something behind. You're ready to move. Some of you, it could be moving to this person. Maybe COVID's affected this for some of you. Could be friends or family don't approve. Could be, like I say, someone could be married. Or you work with this person or something. It feels like there's a lot, of, I feel like there's a lot of emotional, physical distance. Like even if you guys are in communication, it's kind of like you can't really express much to each other. It's like something is kind of blocking the path right now. That it's a block that neither of you want. All right, so in their energy, we have passion and chemistry here. I mean, this is an intense energy. So passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You make this person happy. You, even they're on cloud nine thinking about you. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. I mean, I, I don't feel like I even have to really interpret this. I feel like this is pretty self-explanatory. It's like that temptation there. It's like you cannot stay away from each other. The desire is there. The temptation is there. So, in their thoughts here, we have them sitting kind of meditating. They could be kind of silent right now, or things could be kind of a little bit stagnant, a little bit slow moving between the two of you, or just non-existent at all. Uh, with the Four of Swords, I feel like they're really in their head about you right now. Let's find out why. What are they thinking about Leo, please, Spirit? They're confused. They want to reach out. They want to break the ice. So yeah, they, there's a block right now. They could have physically blocked some of you or you could have blocked them or they feel like they had to be on defense right now because there's something they're trying to kind of navigate through right now. They're thinking a lot about you, however. Okay, the Eight of Wands. They want to come towards you. They do want to communicate. They want to tell you what they've been going through right now. They're holding back right now with that Four of Swords. Again, Four of Swords clarifying Four of Swords. They want to make you an offer. They're feeling very emotional. We have Earth energy here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This person, they feel... There's a lot of depth to this person. This person's very intuitive, okay? This person is a very compassionate, very um, sensitive person. But they, they're very much in control of that. Like, you may not even realize, Leo, how much you affect this person and how emotional they truly are in regards to you because they hide it very well. They mask that very well. But the same pool that you're feeling, they're feeling that as well. We have the sun card right here in their heart space. So it's like they know you want an offer. They just feel like they can't make it to you right now or something has to change. I feel like there's a really big energy about traveling, seeing each other, having like a face-to-face -face conversation. You know, like even like going, I've seen like somebody going to the park, you know, and like just sitting around on a bench talking and like just the two of you, okay? Like just needing to kind of get some things off your chest on both sides of things. And their heart here, we have the sun card. So you make them happy. You're right here front and center and how they feel about you. How do they feel about Leo, please, Spirit? Yeah, <laughs> you want to see what's under here? They feel like maybe you're their twin, okay? Maybe they feel like they can't tell you this. They feel like this strong spiritual tie to you. They feel like they're this, you, you are their calling, but they're having to keep this a secret or keep their feelings hidden right now because there was an ending or a Scorpio may, possibly may have been involved. They're having to wait for something to kind of come to a close so that they can communicate with you. Um, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Let's say you want to know how they feel. Okay, how do they feel about you? You make them happy. The sun is the happiest card in the deck. I mean, they are rainbows and sunshine and butterflies and unicorns. Okay, when they think about you, you make them really happy. You make them smile. You make them laugh. You make them feel 10 years younger, right? You make them feel excited about things. They see long term. They're committed to you. Even just spiritually, they are committed to you. Okay, we have the Six of Wands. They want victory. These are marriage cards. These are both marriage cards. This is a card that can be engagement. Okay, and again, it's still general. It doesn't mean every single one of you is about to get an engagement ring, but that's what they want. That's what they're thinking. That's what they're feeling here. They want long term with you. They want, I mean, this doesn't get any better. For those of you who, who watch a lot of tarot or you know the cards, they want victory. These are, you know, this is. This is, this, is, this is an engagement ring. This is an altar. This is, you know, look, this is an announcement. This is, you know, being together, you know, building a life. That's what they think about when they think about you. It's what they feel when, they, when they're thinking about you, okay? We have the five of rods here. So it's like they know they have to leave something behind. I honestly get like the strong friendship vibe between the two of you with this kind of card here with the five of rods because it's kind of like, look at how 
you know, I suppose that this is probably like the husband and here's like the wife and the family and, you know, Joe next door or whoever, right? But look at how she's looking straight ahead at us. She's looking at this other person, the person taking this photo, okay? She's looking at this photo person and that's where her heart is. Like she could care less at what's going on here because she's thinking about this person, the person that she wants to be with. All right, who is the five? Of, why is five rods here? Because it's passion, passion. Wanting to work on something, feeling very unbalanced, feeling very trapped, okay? This person, male or female, they're thinking about you, they're thinking about life with you. They're, they're in a room full of people, they're thinking about you, Leo. Okay, their intention here is to walk away from something. There's conflict, okay? Some They could feel, they could be afraid of drama starting up if they move towards you, but their passion is here with you. Okay, their intention is to build on something, they just don't know how to make it happen just yet. Okay, we have their actions we have the ace of pentacles this is about making an offer they're they're saving this idea for later until they can execute it because they're not about to make you an offer until they know that they can execute it okay they're not about to say yes i'm gonna you know travel the world or leave this behind or quit this job or you know walk out of this you know home or this unhealthy relationship move towards you until they know that they can make that happen clarify the ace of pentacles please cards are flying out we have the ace of swords all new beginnings. The Emperor and the Moon. So Pisces, Cancerian energy, also Aries. Again, Aries has come through strongly here. They want to take control. They want to tell you the truth. They want a happy home with you. Some of them could be unsure of how you truly feel. Okay? They want to heal the situation. They want to bring balance here. They want to be able to build something. But they feel like it's taking forever. Now, they, again, obsessively think about this with you. Very strong, passionate energy, fire energy there. This person very physically attracted to you and i mean i cannot emphasize this enough with this kind of energy and this kind of energy right here they're waiting to be with you they're waiting to have that spark that passion because you're the person who inspires that in them okay they see long term with you they just don't know how to make it happen right now their intention is to communicate that they have some kind of responsibility they don't know how to get out of but they're they're saving this idea they haven't dismissed the idea that the two of you could have this life together they obsessively think about it they think about you all the time okay under this deck here, we have, I'll show you these. So it could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Here's the Queen of Rods, that's your energy. They're thinking about stability with you, male or female. It's about think about the choice they need to make and how they, who's, how they need to get out of this obligation that they have, this work contract, this, this move, this marriage, whatever this is, to come towards you because you make them happy. You know, they're deeply attracted to you. They have this deep passion. They know that you're their soulmate. Look at that attraction under here. They could have kids involved, or they could be with someone who's very childish, or uh, just be. They could have had commitment issues in the past. Okay, they could have been a little bit emotionally immature in the past, but now they're wanting to communicate more of their feelings to you. So to kind of clarify what we've talked about here, answer the questions. Their thoughts about you, they think about you all the time. They think about wanting to talk to you, find the right words, what they should say. They know that you want more from them. Okay, how do they feel about you? They feel like you're the person that they are destined to be with. You make them happy. They have deep emotions for you. They have a hard, They may have had a hard time expressing that in the past. However, their intention is to leave something behind, but they know it's going to create conflict when they move toward this new beginning with you. They do, however, want to work on this. They're trying to figure out how. The actions they may take in the next couple of months, this person's going to want to communicate some of their responsibilities. Okay, They're going to want to tell you that they, they haven't lost the idea of the two of you possibly being together in the future, but right now in this energy, they have something there are having to prioritize they have to kind of sort through this first all right now i'm going to pull advice messages for those of you who happen to be in communication and for those of you in separation so first let's go ahead and do those for leos who are currently in communication what is the advice please spirit for leos in communication with their love interest what is the advice please spirit surrender stubbornness so this says if you're tensing up about or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This can help you communicate in a more loving with others and yourself. I feel like this for some of you, it's not even just about you being stubborn or hard-headed. Now, I'm a Taurus moon, and you guys know I am a Leo rising and a Leo stellium. So talking to myself just as much as you guys. But it's like when you get this idea in your head of, okay, well, this person needs to come to me. They need to tell me this today. This needs to happen. I'm giving up a lot for this person, or they need to give up a lot for me, or this needs to happen. Be understanding, like, I'm not saying put your life on hold and wait for somebody who's not giving you stability and who's not bringing you, you're going to just know, okay, you get what I'm saying? Um, 
but this person may be afraid to tell you some of these things because they're afraid that you're going to expect more from them immediately okay so just be understand that if this person's beginning to open up and communicate just be empathetic to the fact that they do want this with you they do feel the same way they may have a hard time showing it so ask for what you need ask for it in a loving and compassionate way like if you need this person to be more emotionally available to you ask for that if they can't meet those expectations it's not something that you want to be in association with anyway do you get what i'm saying don't be afraid to ask for things that you need i know as i have strong leo in my chart I'm basically a Leo, okay? I'm a Virgo sun with basic, I'm, but, I'm ba but I'm basically a Leo, okay? So I'm talking to myself too, okay? When it comes to this. What's really important for a lot of us, not that we are needy, right? Okay, but it's that words of affirmation are important, okay? Especially for a Leo, guys, I know. Like, you need to tell me that, you know, you love me, you care about me, you appreciate me, you value me, you're thinking about me, you know, that I mean that I'm important, right? Same thing with you guys, the same thing. You need the validation, okay? You just need this person to recognize that's what you need, okay? You like being reminded that you're cared for, it's appreciated, valued. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? So maybe communicating that to your partner or your love interest and asking for the things that you need. I need you to remind me more that you care about me because I'm just feeling a little bit more insecure today. I want you to remind me that, you know, you do want this, you do feel this way. Ask for the things that you need, okay? But ask for it in a loving way, okay? Don't, you know, expect this person to just intuitively know what you need okay if you're not communicating it to them or if you're just getting oh, aggravated with them because they just don't seem to be making the right efforts try asking them for that ask them for what you need okay but be understanding that they may be going through a lot right now so i mean if they're saying that they just don't have i want to for some reason i want to say this if they're saying they don't have the time you know be understand that they may have a lot going on behind the scenes that they're too ashamed to tell you about okay all right, now what is the advice messages for Leos who happen to be in separation? Okay, immediately coming out, we have surrender to the drama and surrender to stress. We also have negative thinking, and I feel like taking that as well, so we're going to take them all. Surrender to the drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Stay in center will help you resolve the issue more quickly. We have surrender to stress here, which says take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let stress go as you come back to your center. Answer in a negative thinking. You have control over your thoughts. When no negative thoughts uh, surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly focus on positive affirmations. You know, it feels like you're carrying a lot of this this around with you. It's like there may have been like a, a bad breakup or disconnect or there could be like a lot of drama in the environment. Things that are also weighing you down and eating away at you because you feel stressed that you're not having contact with this person. That you, ha you don't know what's going on in their mind or in their heart, okay? Some of you are thinking the worst and really holding on to that. Um, overwhelmed, okay? It's like you're just, little things are getting to you. You could be feeling very frustrated right now just by little things, you know? You know, like somebody ate your sandwich at work. I've seen that Friends episode. You know what I'm saying? Like little things uh, that just kind of seem to keep getting you down where you just kind of feel overwhelmed and stressed. But you have the power over your thoughts and what you think. And remember that... You have the power in manifestation. So what you think, you feel, you speak, you say, you wish, you dream, you hope, you pray, and you fear, you call that in. So if you're constantly thinking, you know, nothing's ever going to change. I'm always going to feel frustrated. That's what you're going to manifest. Holding on to that stress, it's eating away at you. It's, it's, you know, taking away what joy you do have. Focus on things that, you know, don't cause drama or conflict or pain in your heart. I know that's easier said than done as a Virgo son. Believe me, I know. It's easier said than done to not overthink a situation. But this is about kind of taking back control. Not letting things bother you. Not letting things get you down. Focusing on the, on the positive things that you can change. If this person's not in communication with you right now, you know, it's because maybe they have something that they need, they need to work through, you know. But right now, focus on what you can change in the areas of your life that you can be happier in. You know, try not to overthink the situation. I know, like I say, I feel like you're both obsessively, whether you're in contact or not thinking about each other, but this is about you kind of taking a step back from that and focusing on positive things that uplift you and replenish your energy. All right, so Leo, this was your reading. Please remember to like and comment down below. I'm wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.